Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today I'm revisiting my white, blue and red or Jeskai colored aura deck and as some of you may remember the previous build featured Saiba Cryptomancer which could both protect another creature in play or be a hexproof creature that we can start loading auras onto and then we don't need to fear spot removal taking out our creature. Now I'm no longer playing the Cryptomancer and part of the reason is the popularity of Boros Convoke which is a token deck and therefore a lot of decks adjusting to the meta and including more sweepers like Path of Peril which could take out the Cryptomancer regardless and especially temporary lockdown which can exile all permanents with mana value 2 or less so besides hitting our creatures it would also hit our auras. So instead now I'm running four copies of Slip Out the Back which can phase out our creature so in the face of a card like like temporary lockdown we can both save our creature and all the auras that are attached to it so I'm playing this over a card like Laurent's escape which would not help you in the face of a lockdown now of course there will be situations where a card like Laurent's escape will line up a little bit better but in general I've been happy with slip out the back and then another important addition to this archetype is a Demonic Ruckus, a card you can actually plot on turn 1 for just a single red, and then play it for free in a future turn, an aura giving plus one plus one, menace and trample, and then when the Ruckus is put into a graveyard from the battlefield we can also draw a card. So now if we can't play a Skrelv on turn 1, which is another way to protect our creatures, we can instead plot a Demonic Ruckus, and then on turn 2 cast it for free, enchanting either our Illuminator Virtuoso or Light Paws Emperor's Voice, which will then also immediately trigger allowing us to search up another aura to put onto a light pause and those could include security bypass as another two mana aura which can make our creature unblockable and connive and then a faith light is another recent addition can be flashed in to protect our creature giving it hexproof until end of turn and then permanently plus one plus oh and flying so it gives it even more evasion and then we've got the Itali's Favor as well, which was the reason I built the deck initially as a great card to synergize with Light Paws. As you can cast it, find another 3 mana enchantment, which will often be Draconic Destiny. And then we still get to discover, often finding another aura, which will once again trigger Light Paws' ability. And then we can start finding all these one-off auras as well. And then of course the Virtuoso, another great target for enchantment as it has built-in double strike and lets us connive whenever we target it. So that can also pick up additional plus one counters and take out the opponent in just a single attack. And then we've got a wide range of one-offs here so we can search them up with light paws and we also want differently named auras that we can keep searching up. And those include Military Discipline, which we can also play at instant speed. So that can also maybe help connive the Virtuoso to survive a burn spell. And then a Light Pause can also maybe get an extra aura that increases toughness to save it from removal. And then if we play it at instant speed, can also give our creature first strike until end of turn. So it can be a nice combat trick. Then there's a Radiant Grace giving Vigilance and one extra power, important in creature matchups. We've got Rafine's Guidance just giving plus one plus one, but we can also get it back from the graveyard. Then there's the War Paint giving plus two plus one. Hammer Hand is a nice one, since we can immediately attack with a creature by giving it haste and also prevent something from blocking. So it can be a way to immediately get on the board and start drawing cards with some of our card draw auras. Then there's Immolation, which can either increase your power by 2, or occasionally you can use it as removal by taking out a 1 or 2 toughness creature from the opponent. And then Sticky Fingers will give us additional treasure tokens if we hit the opponent, especially nice with a Virtuoso, since with Double Strike we can make 2 treasure tokens in a single attack. And then we've got four copies of Combat Research, great with a double strike on Virtuoso as we can potentially draw two cards in a single attack step, but also very good on Light Paws as it will get plus one plus one and award one, making opposing spot removal even more awkward to use. And then another very important upgrade is in the mana base, as we finally have some of the fast lands that we were missing, such as Inspiring Vantage and Spire Bluff. So these will make our mana base a lot less painful and less awkward in the early turns, where we would usually have to play a bunch of tap lands or pain lands. And then we still have a couple pain lands just to have some more untapped sources and just to have more uh, dual lands in general. And then one of each basic in case we need to search those up. So no real room for channel lands in this build. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see what the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. No creature means mulligan. This we can keep. And then... Itali's Favor would be nice to cast, although it requires a red mana. And we might want to wait to play Virtuoso until we can keep up Slip Out, so we'll need that third land. But then I feel like we might be low on action if I do discard uh, the Itali's Favor, so... We'll keep two lands and hope we'll 
find a red source in the meantime. Another Virtuoso. Turn on Forest means I might be fine just playing Virtuoso on turn 2. Especially now that we have a second copy. I see, Green White Enchantments. So they could still have Ossification, although it's not the end of the world. And they can also build up some large creature, so I'm happy we kept Atali's favor, even though we can't cast it yet. And then the next Virtuoso we can protect, should this one get exiled. Yep, there's the ossification. Okay, so take three. Play Virtuoso, keep up slip outs. And then hope to find red mana on the following turn. Can't afford to tap out, because if they have a second ossification, we just lose. But now our opponent's pretty far ahead on board. Although Virtuoso does tend to grow pretty quickly himself. Alright, Weaver of Harmony. Opponent does not attack, afraid of a pump spell maybe. Now we can bypass, just so Virtuoso can attack. Found the land, although it will be tapped for now. That's fine, I'll get rid of the sticky fingers then. And then Virtuoso can attack. We'll get to connive a bit more. Find a demonic ruckus. That probably has to go as well. And a planes doesn't help me too much. Okay. Would have been nice to also get the research going to draw two cards here, but again, pretty important that we keep up our protection spell. Put him now with a naturalist. And a Calyx. Alright. So they've got a lot of power here. I might need to slip out Virtuoso just for the extra counter. And then hope we can present Lethal next turn, because now they also have a Life Linker. Yeah, I think we just slip out here and then next turn Itali's favor, maybe find another way to pump up the Virtuoso. And if I can discard an online card, that's even better. Alright, so we get two additional counters. So with the Itali's favor, we should get there. Discard Skrelf. And that's 14 unblockable damage. And I'll play the research, because why not? Okay. Well, close one here against enchantments, but yeah, Virtuoso has one messed up card. Get to connive and draw a bunch. Can get an additional counter for a regular strike damage. And there we have it, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a promising hand. A few ways we can play it, either Skrelv on one or plot Demonic Ruckus. Opponent on mono red aggro. So yeah, Skrelv to protect Virtuoso has its merit. Uh, Ruckus to immediately trigger it and connive is also fine, but that's not going to be enough to have it survive necessarily. So I think Skrelv for now makes sense. And then... I don't know if I already want to play Virtuoso next turn, because it could still die to two instant speed removal spells. But now the pressure is on, so I don't really have time to spare. So I think we have to go for Virtuoso, and then hope they don't have two instant speed removal spells. And then next turn we can... Uh, Start growing Virtuoso, probably have to keep it on defense initially. So 
their opponent's gonna attack all out, and we have to take it. And they're gonna take out Skralv. All right. So next turn we can play Ruckus, keep up, slip out the back. Sticky Fingers is interesting, although we are missing Vigilance. Because yeah, I can make a lot of mana, but then if our opponent can just attack with all three creatures, we could still die next turn. Although I guess we can slip out the back their creature to kind of phase it out for a turn. So maybe I do actually go for Sticky Fingers plus Combat Research. Sadly, can double research. Unless we connive into it, I guess, into another blue source. Alright, let's go for it. Found a Guidance, which I can still cast. So in that case, one research can go. And then cast a research. Skralva is going to be too slow. Cast a Guidance. And then now, maybe Demonic Ruckus is needed. We already have Menace. This can also give Trample. What's more important here? The one extra power might be more important. Since our opponent's probably going to be attacking anyways. Okay. So hit you for 10. And then we're going to have to use Slip Out the Back on the opponent's creature here, most likely. But then next turn we should be in the clear. And then I could War Paint now. Just to get the extra connive. In case that matters. Find another Slip Out. Okay. Pass a turn. If they Lightning Strike face, we fall to one, if that's all they have, assuming we slip out the Swiss Spear. It's gonna be Demonic Ruckus, the Swiss Spear. Alright. Phase that out. And then I could still die to a Monstrous Rage. That would be eight damage exactly. Or a Felonious Rage. No, that's only seven, so one short. And then Virtuoso should get them on the way back. Could also Itali's Favor first and see what else we hit. Well, very close one here against Monorad, down to one life. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got a Keeper. Double Light Paws in case one gets answered. And then hopefully we can immediately get to Combat Research going. Well, let's see what we're up against. Rafine's Tower. Alright, so if I do draw land, I could also maybe opt to play another Light Paws and keep up Slip out the back. Assuming this one gets removed. Perfect. Yeah, that's a little safer here, even though with Research we do give it Ward 1. And I can maybe increase its toughness, but this is our last threat, so I need to make sure it survives. Creature's fine. And Virtuoso. Could also go Virtuoso, put the research on Virtuoso. Yeah, I think we do want to start enchanting the Light Paws now. Could also use the Bypass. And then we can still keep up Slip Out. And then I can get a 2-mana Aura, such as Demonic Ruckus. Now let's just go with the uh, bypass for now. And then could also get Faith Flight instead of Demonic Ruckus. Now let's get the uh, Ruckus. And then we can attack unopposed. And find Itali's favor, so that will be excellent next turn. Okay, pass it back. And a Path of Peril, that's fine. Slip out the back, we'll save it. Okay. 
So we're out of protection spells. Can still go for Ward 1, but I think we just go big with Itali's Favor now. Or we can diversify Virtuoso into Research, and then Light Pause can still get a 1-mana Aura. I guess that would be the wiser play, maybe. Although Itali's Favor is the more fun play. What can our opponent present next turn? Maybe another Sweeper? In which case I don't necessarily want Virtuoso in play. Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's live a little bit. And then we can find Draconic Destiny. Or I can get Sticky Fingers. That way I can maybe still draw into a protection spell and have the mana to cast it. But this is the most value. And then another Demonic Ruckus. So yeah, maybe go for Combat Research now over Sticky Fingers. And then if they do remove a Light Pause, we'll get to draw off Demonic Ruckus as well. Alright, I'll take the land so we have more mana to deploy Virtuoso. Faith Flight almost would have been good enough. But yeah, opponent's out of removal and Light Pause takes it. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and what do we think of our hand? Missing some auras, but at least we've got plenty of creatures. And with research, on Virtuoso especially, we tend to find a lot of cards. Facing turn one mountain, so opponent seems to have removal, so whatever creature we play first is gonna get taken out instantly. Opponent's plotting a robbery, so they're a slick shot deck that's gonna try and go off in one turn. Alright, I'll start with Virtuoso, and then next turn we could maybe go Light Pause and immediately Research. So that does get dealt with. Now I'm probably just playing Virtuoso and passing the turn, since this might once again be taken out. And then we'll hopefully have Light Pause left. Can also give it haste by getting a Hammer Hand. Okay, at least those burn spells weren't going face, so we're more likely to survive if uh, Slick Shot shows up. Really want him to tap out so we can load up Auras onto Light Pause and not have our opponent take it out in response. So that helps. And our opponent plots. Ruckus and is now tapped out, all according to plan. So I can play Light Pause, enchant it with the Research, get a Hammer Hand, and then it would be a 4 4 with Ward 1 drawing me a card. Or I can go Light Pause, Bypass, and then get a Demonic Ruckus, but then it's still only 3 toughness. So I think I prefer the Research line here. But we can double check our options. Yeah, we really want one extra toughness, and then, yeah, giving it haste makes sense. And then I can attack first, see what we draw, and likely play a tapped Spire Bluff. Alright, so hopefully this is good enough to stick around for a turn, and then next turn we can load more auras onto it. Alright, opponent's going for the uh, code breaker here. That's fine. So start with Itali's favor. Although I might want to bypass first actually, because if we get the ruckus, then Itali's favor hitting a ruckus isn't as bad for us. And then now we can get our flying enchantments. Draconic Destiny. Military Discipline, and now we can go for Vigilance as well. Alright. 
hit for nine. Draw a card. And we get to connive. At this point, bypass can go. And I don't think they'll be able to take out an eight toughness creature with ward one. With only three mana or four mana potentially. So that should do it. All right, opponent seems to have disconnected. We get to untap. And then, uh, yeah, either our opponent times out or we get to hit them for 10. So yeah, against mono reds, ideally we have a protection spell. Sometimes we're just too far behind on board where we don't have time to play it safe. In this case, we just had a lot of creatures to get removed one by one until we were able to stick the landing on light paws. And then once you have enough toughness, you can usually survive those burn spells. And Ward also helps on to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Don't see a no land hand every day in Bust of One. This is a keep. And then one land can probably go. Although we're all in on a single light pause at the moment. I guess turn one swamp. All right, I think we're playing the waiting game now. Until I can maybe keep up Faith Flight. Trespassers fine. Although they still have cut down available. And another tap land. So if I go light pause and then cast a research, we might regret it if they have cut down in hand. So I'm just gonna wait another turn, I guess. Does mean it transforms to knights, so we're under some pressure. This is where having Demonic Ruckus with Plot would be useful, so we can still spend our mana in a useful manner. Frax and Arena, so yeah, opponent's definitely holding some removal here. Slip out the back's not bad. Although if I play Light Paws, I can only cast one protection spell, which is unlikely to be enough. So I might have to wait one more turn. But of course now with the Frax and Arena, the longer we wait, the more answers they'll draw. But uh, yeah, I think it's still probably for the best. Although I guess if I do phase out my creature, it's not going to be in play for them to remove in their turn. So maybe that's still fine, actually. And then as soon as we untap, we have Faith Light available. Yeah, they had the cutdown. If they have double cutdown, I guess uh, that's bad for us. They do not. Goes back to daytime. And a shield roots next, so that's going to punish any card draw we have. Okay, so Light Pause needs First Strike, it needs Vigilance. And then we need to ideally keep up Faith Flight as well. So let's start here. Or maybe, let's see, I guess I can start with the War Paints. So Vigilance is a Radiant Grace. And then a first strike would be Discipline. Although it's only until end of turn. So that doesn't really work out the way I would like to. Could also just Hammer Hands or Sticky Fingers to attack past Childred. But yeah, the Discipline only being first strike until end of turn means we can't really block the Shieldred profitably. But we can still hold off the uh, Trespasser. Yeah, Sticky Fingers and then Combat Research. I'll still draw and then have Faith Flight available plus some extra mana. Because we do want to increase the pressure a little bit here. And then go for 
emulation to increase power. And then I could research again since we'll get another treasure here. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to play another research. Although I guess it would make them pay more mana if they want to remove Light Paws, so I could play it second main, which kind of still works. We also have the option to use Faith Flight to search up the military discipline to give first strike, so that could also be kind of a cute interaction. But we'll see. So now we have Ward 1 twice. So they'll likely only be able to cast one removal spell on Light Paws if they have it. And then next turn we should be able to attack for lethal since we'll also have flying. Ooh, Blast Zone. Hmm, that can actually destroy all my one mana enchantments. So that's bad news. So now we're probably not gonna have lethal next turn. Only a 3-3 three, three Light Paws now. And I'm kind of forced to use Faith Flight proactively. Which means if they have removal, they can now cast it without having to pay ward. They can get rid of my Guidance as well. Yeah, I think I'm forced to cast this, and if they have removal, we lose, but... I can't uh, afford to take 7 and then lose to Shieldred. And yeah, go for the throat. Wow. Blast Zone won them the game. That's uh, unlucky. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Sadly missing a second land. This hand's just a little too clunky. This time we don't have a creature. This we can keep. And we have Ruckus into Virtuoso as an option. Yeah, I mean, since we double mulligans, maybe I just ditch Skrelv and hope that Virtuoso gets there, and then Faith Light can eventually protect it. It's a little risky. But uh, given the circumstances, I think it makes sense. Otherwise, if I keep Skrelv over Faith Light, we're also light on ways to target the Virtuoso. Seeing turn one mountain's not ideal. I'll at least uh, play with fires going face. Yeah, having to wait until we can Virtuoso with Faith Light backup is going to be rough. But I should wait until I can at least play a combat research and demonic ruckus. Alright, opponent taps out for Godric, so that works. And then play Virtuoso. Cast Demonic Ruckus. And find Sticky Fingers. Could discard it just to get an extra plus one counter, so it maybe survives a removal spell. And do the same here. Was really hoping to Find another non-land card, now I have to ditch the Faith Flight. But at least now we have a 4-4, four four, so it survives Lightning Strike. Gonna still hold off Godric at the moment, even through a Monstrous Rage. So opponent playing a phase down Codebreaker. And we found another Research, that's worth casting. Find another Virtuoso. Yeah, at this point I might just discard it for the extra counter. We'll also get to draw of double research twice. So the more power, the better. This is also a two-turn clock. And do we find an untapped land? A security bypass instead. Okay, um, probably worth casting. 
and then I can discard Hammer Hand to get this to six toughness, so it maybe survives a Witch Doctor Frenzy. Yeah, I guess that's the safer move, and then next turn Itali's Favor should get there. Don't see them dealing 50 necessarily, but it's not impossible. More worried about losing Virtuoso. Alright, another Anger is a good start. So now even Lightning Strike plus Play with Fire isn't enough. There's a Monstrous Rage. So that hits for 10. Transform Codebreaker for the redraw. But now they're down to one mana. So even another Monstrous Rage would be one short. It's gonna be Kumano instead. I guess never mind, since they hadn't enabled Celebration, another Monstrous Rage would have been lethal. But now our opponent seems dead. Yeah, close one. I do want to see what we hit off Itali's favor, forgive me. And another bypass. Okay. And attack for 16. And we even get to draw a few cards here before dealing lethal. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a keepable hand. Don't know if we can play Virtuoso on turn 2 yet. And then we need red mana eventually. Alright, against blue whites, we even found Light Paws. We can definitely run out a creature here. Which one will it be? Maybe it's Light Paws first. If we're more worried about a counter spell than a removal. And we found the red mana, perfect. Now, of course, the drawback of Slip Out, if they remove Light Paws in response to me casting an aura, is that the aura doesn't actually stick around. Playing the Sticky Fingers on Virtuoso could also work out a little bit better, so we combine it with Double Strike. Could just cast a Security Bypass. Yeah, let's start with the Sticky Fingers, see what the response is. They might counter it, the Juice instead. Okay, put it on Control. And what to get? Probably combat research. And then we'll still be able to play Virtuoso since we'll get a treasure and then we can keep up Slip Out. I think I prefer that over Security Bypass. Okay, and then next turn maybe go for Itali's Favor. Yeah, Lockdown would have been pretty effective if it weren't for Slip Out. Although, now we don't have a protection spell left. And I'm not going to be able to deal 17 damage with the Light Paws. So, just going to go for Itali's Favor and hope to get some goodies. Sadly, have the Destiny in hand, so we can't search that up. But I can go for Demonic Ruckus. So we maybe still draw on the way out. And then a Faith Light. Hexproof is only until end of turn, sadly. And then now... Could go for... let's see... Security Bypass to connive to find another creature, in case they remove Light Paws. Probably my best option. Or we could increase power to present a two-turn clock in case they don't have removal. In that case, I could go for like a war paint. Yeah, sure. We're safe from a wandering emperor thanks to Ward. And we found slip out, perfect. Alright. I wasn't counting on it. 
Otherwise, getting bypass for the extra knife could have given us an extra draw step. But now we should have most angles covered. If they have spot removal, they still need to pay the ward, so then they can't have a counter spell as well. But they can wait for me to attack and then use the removal, so then if we slip out we don't deal any damage anymore. So yeah, we just want to go to attackers here, no point casting anything else. Unless I guess her opponent can gain life. Maybe they're looking to remove an aura to shrink down the light paws, which yeah, would have been a reason to maybe still cast something here. And yeah, Otawara bouncing the war paint. So her opponent would take seven and survive. And then I can still play Skrelv, plot Demonic Ruckus, and have Slip Out available. So we should still be fine here. Opponent casting a Deluge, so yeah, they're super dead. Well, that definitely showcased why I'm running Slip Out over a card like Lauren's Escape, even though there will be situations where Lauren's Escape lines up better, especially if they try to remove your creature in response to you casting an aura, because then uh, you don't have that awkwardness of phasing out your own creature and not getting the enchantments to land on it. But uh, yeah, pretty important that you actually keep your uh, threats alive, and with the popularity of Boros Convoke you can expect to see more cards like Temporary Lockdown, so I think uh, Slip Out is the better choice at the moment. But uh, yeah, if you're a fan of these all-in strategies that don't mind losing every once in a while to a removal spell on your only creature, this deck can certainly get some daily wins in a hurry. So it seems like a pretty decent deck for the latter as well, as it can also beat some of the other aggro decks in the format by just outpacing them. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.